Hey everyone, it's X Old Man. I'm heading over to my neighbor's house because he's cooking something up. Let's go see what he's doing. Always cooking something up over here. Oh ho ho! Look at here! I wore my hobo clothes just for this. Fresh tender mice. <laughs> <laughs> that smells so good, Dennis. Yeah, I, I added that other thing of other can of tomatoes too. Wow. No, you are a true hobo, sir. What? So what's it called? Brunswick stew. Brunswick stew. Just like in the old days. Yeah. I love your cauldron here. What is that? 30 quart, you say? No, 14. 14 quart. Yeah, of course that's not 30. I am reminded of the genius lyrics uh, and Gentle on My Mind. Yes. The Glenn Campbell song. I dip my cup of soup back from a gurgling, crackling cauldron in some train yard. My beard a roughening coal pile and a sea hat. Good weather for a train yard today. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. What's in there? Bunch of chicken. Chicken, onions. How much um, How much chicken did you put in there? Put six pounds of chickens. Ch we, what we've done is we used thighs, boneless, skinless thighs, cooked it, shredded it up, yeah. and then put that and the onions in, and then we put uh, tomatoes. How many Crushed onions? tomatoes. Uh, two cups of chopped onion. Uh-huh. And we put four cans of this. And I know you put some uh, diced in there. Yeah, diced tomatoes. A few diced. And butter beans and corn will be next. And then when that cooks down. So you got a bunch of, but two bags I think you put in there, huh? Yeah, two bags of butter beans. Mm -hmm. And we'll do three bags of corn. Some of us say lima beans. Lima beans, butter beans. Okay, and how many, how many, uh, so, Four or six cans of tomatoes total. Four. Okay. And those are like twenty-four ounce cans. Yeah. But it's 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 thickening right up. Let's see if it's almost there. It's almost there. How about it, when it stands straight up, it's done. Yeah. That's the old time recipe, I understand. I've never cooked one before, so this is our first endeavor at this. But your your wife's mother did it all the time, huh? Yes, and my granddad did. So mm -hmm. We've been around it all of our life and just never had cooked one until today. What a wonderful thing. You'll yes. have plenty enough to share with me. We will. <laughs> we will. We will. We will. This is some a loaf of white bread and yes. forget the carbs for the day. So you're going to sop it up with some carbs. Yes, huh? sir, buddy. All right. And then salt and pepper to taste. And I think sugar to offset the acidity of the tomatoes. Okay. Sprinkle a little sugar. And did you put some uh, bouillon or some... Uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth. Yes. Uh -huh. How much of that do you think you put in there? Uh, probably four <laughs> quarts. And I've got another quart, but it, I, we don't, we didn't need it, so... So it's incredibly easy to cook, right? Yeah, just, oh, yeah. It just takes time and patience. You have to be with it and stir it. Cook it on a... Relatively low. I didn't know how this thing was going to cook because it's we just bought it. I bought it from Agri Supply. I'm supposed to advertise. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Agri Supply. Uh, Under two hundred dollars for the pot and the, the stand. I'd, I'd uh, consider having one, but I, I don't know if I'd ever use it. Wouldn't be worth the expense to me. Well, it's next door if you ever need it. If I ever want to make a giant gumbo, <laughs> I know where to come. There you go. It's right here. Yeah. Pre-seasoned. Pot. Yep. So we didn't have to season it. A great way to make use of some propane. Yes. All right. Just stir it so it don't stick. Cause all I, what I remember as a kid, that was the kid's and, job, you know, to stir when, it. When you were a kid, you tell me they used to cook it over a real fire, like mm -hmm. oak, oak wood fire. And, oak wood. Yep. And then we get that uh, nice smoky campfire taste. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It was an all-day endeavor. For sure. All right, well, and it's, it's not going to take all day, I don't think, to get this because it's a small, small pot. 
but it was back in the day they were huge yeah huge pots yeah i remember my uncle had one on his property and i always i just thought that was the neatest thing a big cast iron cauldron for, they probably washed their clothes in it bathed oh, yeah. in it back in the mm -hmm. day yeah. our friend that we uh have always gotten this stew from back in Rock Rapids. His name is Jerry Mosley. Mm -hmm. He cooks a lot of Brunswick stews for different organizations and such. Mm -hmm. He's got his mounted on a trailer, and it's one of those huge, it's like a um, hot tub almost. It's so big. Wow. It's a huge pot. It's gurgling and crackling. Yes, here she comes with some corn. Oh, there's mama. Corn! <laughs> Sherry, well, I appreciate you sharing this with me. I thank you, and I'm you'll sure. get the taste the the spoils here. Well, that's a bad choice of word, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the finished product. Yeah, the finished product. There you go. Well, I'm sure that others will be inspired to make some. It's really simple to make. Now, our son made one the other week. There's the corn. Ryan, mm -hmm. he made one uh, on the kitchen stove in just a regular pot. And he said it was really, it turned out really good. Easy peasy. All right. Well, I'll come back and check. All right. We'll, we'll, when we get it done, we'll bring you some. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, neighbor.